Now, scientists in America say they may have developed a drug for use as a contraceptive pill for men. They say it works by temporarily stopping sperm from propelling itself. Now, this drug switches off an enzyme that sperm need to be able to reach uh, an egg to swim and get its way all the way over to an egg. As you can see there, tests done on mice show that the effect is short-lived with normal function restored within 24 hours. Panic ye not. Uh, for more insight on all of this, let's speak to Stephanie Page, who is an endocrinologist and professor at the University of Washington School of Medicine. Thank you so much for joining me and, and talking to me about this. This is really interesting. And I know very much within uh, the focus of your research as well, you're involved in um, the development of a male contraceptive pill, also a gel as well. Um, how excited, therefore, are you about what you're hearing today? I think this is really important work. You know, we've been working towards developing a male contraceptive pill for a number of decades now, and this is really work that's proof of principle that at least in an animal model, conceptually, an on-demand contraceptive pill could be available to men and women in the future. Now, this might be a silly question, but I'm asking it because I, I think it's important. How, how sure do you know that what you see in mice is going to be definitely replicated in humans? Is this going to work for men? Oh, I think there's quite a bit of work to do to show that. Again, this is exciting work, but we have a long road ahead. Um, this work shows that in mice, in a short period of time, given high doses of this uh, blocker, so to speak, that this can be effective. But translating findings in mice and even in non-human primates to humans has been particularly challenging and really in the area of reproductive health, even more challenging than in some other areas. So it's really exciting work, but there's quite a lot more to do. And of course, where does this um, where does this development stand in terms of protecting against things like sexually transmitted infections, diseases and the like? Uh, there's really nothing here that would suggest that it would protect against that. We're often asked in the field about the relative importance of this relative to condoms, for example, which are obviously a really important part of sexual health. There's a goal of developing what we call dual purpose methods that would be contraceptives and protect against sexually transmitted diseases, particularly HIV. But this particular molecule as a target won't do that. But it could potentially be coupled with something else that might be effective in that area. Do you think there is demand for a male pill from men? Absolutely. There's quite a bit of work. There's work sponsored by a variety of agencies and surveys that have been asking men recently if they're interested in contraceptives. And, and really that response and the response we see, see in our studies is extremely positive. So I think there's certainly a market here. It's really about uh, creating more choices and, if you will, a contraceptive menu for men so that they can become more engaged in contraception. How do you, as a sort of um, science community, how do you get round the fears, the understandable fears that consumers would have around this wearing off, that this isn't affecting their long-term fertility, that this is just a, a short-term situation? Yeah, that's really important. You know, developing reversible contraceptive me methods for men is really important and addressing potential side effects. So really that has to be shown in a long range study and a long term study. And I think it's really important to remember, too, that every method won't work for every person. And so just like for women, where creating lots of contraceptive choices means that there's more contraceptive engagement, we can expect the same thing from men. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to do that would show men that and their partners, most importantly, that these methods can be effective. But I think that um, that can be done in the future. Really interesting. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Stephanie Page, thank you. Thanks for having me.